my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. So I'm going to be doing a spread on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine for September 18th, 2024. The first card I'm getting for Divine Feminine is Patience. So with Patience, I feel as though the Divine Feminine at the moment is being advised to like trust in the process right now because a lot is being cleared at the moment. So she may be going back and forth in her journey, thinking about going with in another direction. But if you listen right now, she's being advised to stay the course. She's being tested right now to see how strong her faith and her love and her, with their counterpart in her journey is. So again, it's coming back to self. I am seeing a lot of crown chakra activations going on for the Divine Feminine right now. And these crown chakra activations are expanding her consciousness. So she's getting on that separation consciousness and really delving into unity consciousness. But the door to romance, I feel as though there's a new chapter in self-love beginning for the Divine Feminine. She is being called to um, really go deep within herself and clear um, the last of the codependency blocks that keep her um, emulated separation consciousness. Because the Divine Feminine is perfect as she is. She doesn't need to strive towards some idealized version of herself that doesn't exist. She can simply be herself. So I feel as though there's a lot of hesitance with Divine Feminine when it comes to her heart. She doesn't want her heart to be broken. And she's kind of afraid to express herself or be vulnerable. Because she doesn't want that to um, opportunity to arise. But I feel as though the Divine Feminine needs to clear those blockages. Because... She is kind of like um, putting a barrier between her and the Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine cannot come forward until the Divine Feminine lowers that wall. Um, with the 6th Chakra, Archangel Metatron, I am seeing a lot of Throat Chakra activations going on for the Divine Feminine. So she is really communication blocks, and she is starting to see that all the ways in which she stonewalls and um, doesn't even express herself. So I feel as though the Divine Feminine is acknowledging that she does have some work to do when it comes to her communication skills. And she can be more listening and um, like more attentive when it comes to listening. I am also seeing that the Divine Feminine is also clearing those blockages around the third eye as well. That prevents her from, you know, seeing clearly when it comes to herself. So I feel as though that lack of self-knowledge that she had about herself was kind of like causing her to repeat the cycle but I feel as though now the Divine Feminist has the the cobwebs have been pulled back over the Divine Feminine's eyes and she sees everything. She sees what she needs to be, work on and now she is like delving into shadow work and that's what I get for Divine Feminine. And this is what I get for Divine Masculine. The first card I get for Divine Masculine is the Seven Swords. So I feel as though the Divine Masculine right now is really in He's really weighing his options, yes, but I also see that he's really weighing um, what uh, everything he knows. Like, what I mean by that is that he is kind of questioning the way he perceives the world and the way he perceives himself. He's asking himself, how do I fit within this paradigm called the Matrix? So I am seeing again that Divine Masculine is asking himself the hard questions. I am seeing this is why he's pulled back his energy majorly for the Divine Feminine. Because he needs to focus on himself. He really needs to focus on um, what is best for him. So I am seeing that again he's clearing a lot of blockages when it comes to people pleasing. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands, I am seeing that the Divine Masculine is also clearing manifestation blocks. And these manifestation blocks were keeping him from manifesting the outcome he wants. So he still wants that future with Divine Feminine. He still wants to make that offer that she can't refuse. And I feel as though the Divine Masculine is really going within and changing himself. I am seeing again that Divine Masculine is also going some, through some root chakra activations. So he is pulling himself out of that three key, that ego consciousness. And he's really going into um, his soul. So I am seeing again that he is actually facing opposition from people around him. People are noticing how he's changing, how he's um, growing, and they don't like it. They're trying to keep him down. But it feels like the Divine Master needs to keep um, his full steam ahead, I'm hearing. Divine Master needs to keep the faith. He needs to trust that um, what is happening is for his best and highest good. But the High Priestess, he's being advised to kill his anima right now. 
because I feel as though his amina still has some distortions around expression and such. Both the twins are really being advised to work on self-expression and um, authentic communication because there is still like um, stonewalling going on. They're still shutting people out. I feel as though the divine feminine and the divine masculine needs to look within and ask themselves, well, how can I have a um, open communication without fear of judgment and fear of vulnerability? I am seeing again that he is asking himself that same question because he sees now that his environment does not um, support that kind of um, authentic communication. And it feels like he's working on those blockages and um, taking care of the... Um, yeah, he's really taking care of himself right now. He's really looking within for the answers. And as he looks in within for the answers, he starts to see what um, he previously ignored. And it feels like what he previously ignored is that he had the wrong circle. And I feel as the Divine Muslim is now enacting those changes. He is determined to clean house and to build a better future for himself. And this is what I get for Divine Muslim. If you haven't already, um, like um, my video, um, subscribe to my channel. I post updates about Twin Flames almost every day. I will see you another time. Namaste.